North Korea claims it has launched its first tactical nuclear attack submarine with the launching ceremony observed by its leader, Kim Jong-un. However, the South Korean military says the vessel is not fit for normal operations. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Lee Dae-hyun explains. North Korea has launched what it's calling its first operational tactical nuclear attack submarine ahead of the 75th founding anniversary. North Korea's state media on Friday reported that submarine number 841, named hero Kim Gunok after a North Korean historical figure, was assigned to the fleet that patrols the water between the Korean Peninsula and Japan. But Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff said that the vessel appeared to be a modified Soviet-era Romeo-class submarine, which North Korea imported from China in the 1970s and started to produce domestically, and assessed that it's not capable of normal operation and that there is a possibility of exaggeration by the North. It also said that it will closely cooperate with Washington to maintain military readiness, as the two nations are planning to hold high-level talks on extended deterrence next week in Seoul to better counter the North's threats. A launch ceremony was held on Wednesday where Kim Jong-un said that the submarine would be one of the main underwater offensive means of the naval force of North Korea. Kim also highlighted that the launch of the vessel was to counter U.S. naval power while presenting his plan to strengthen the regime's navy by improving the risk of the submarine's weapon capabilities. One expert says the launch is to cover up their failure in economic measures. The only thing that's currently working out well is the military development sector. So it's externally and internally showing off that its weapons production is proceeding smoothly, despite global pressure and sanctions. Based on the photo released via North Korean media, the submarine appears to be equipped with a total of 10 launch tube hatches, which analysts say are most likely armed with ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. The Unification Ministry also deplored how the North wastes its resources by developing weapons while ignoring the difficulties of public welfare. North Korea should realize that their provocations are meaningless as Seoul, Washington and Tokyo strengthen military readiness and this is only going to make them vulnerable in security. Meanwhile, the ministry said that there is a high possibility that the North would hold its military parade tonight. It said this would mark the third parade this year, which shows the need for the North to strengthen its internal solidarity. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.